Out here again today, doing some more scouting. Uh, this is the third of the three properties are right here in this area, and it's kind of amazing how similar they all are, but yet how different they all are. They're all right in the same area, but like pretty different as far as habitat goes. So it's interesting to dive in here. Got a lot more like CRP, kind of open river bottom type habitat. So different than all the other stuff we scouted thus far this year. So excited to get in here. Pretty big property. Try to make it through it tonight and see what we can't find. see the river behind me there there's just a little chunk of woods that I just walked through back there and then there's like a little slough that kind of runs right through here and then some trees right here and then it becomes private but you always got to check out these little teeny tiny spots that maybe people aren't going into there's actually a good number of deer sign a good amount of deer sign like in there some old rubs so you always got to check out these kind of kind of seem like little hidden areas that you wouldn't want to hunt but it's where people aren't going and sometimes where you find the bucks fence rows and little sloughs like this back here so just gonna check it out fast it doesn't take too much time because you can go right through it if there's nothing there they can just keep moving and hit other spots but we're gonna check these spots out quick and then get into the larger chunk of woods Two developments right there one I just got done talking to you guys about what our plan was I look up I see brown I go out but there, there's a deer right there and sure enough there's two does right there and then I look up and there's a guy out here driving this this field edge but you ever run into those private land guys that own the stuff right next to the public that are always driving the edges just to make sure that you know hey this is private and not public and I'm watching you that's one of those guys but deer right back in here pretty good little area i'm gonna see if i can't cross this slough right back here real quick and get in there because i think there might be some good obviously does bedding in there bucks might be bedding in there too so it's gonna try to dive in there and see what we don't see but two deer right there already that's a good sign there wasn't too much going on in that little strip of trees those does were there but I didn't see much else. Kind of moved to a different area now. Getting down in this bottom. Off the river into the bigger portions of timber. So hoping we can find some deer sign. A lot of area here to work with. The one thing I've been always so surprised with on these properties. How big they actually are when you get here. The scale is so much bigger in person than what it looks like on the map. So I mean, that's a good thing. You get down here. Hunt's a little bit bigger than what you think it would on the map. Hard to cover on a quick scout like I'm trying to do tonight. But we'll weave through here try to hit the... Hit the good spots, see what we can't find. I'm saving this spot on the map because there's a lot of old rut sign right back here in these trees. I'm gonna try to keep moving so the mosquitoes don't carry me away. But a lot of old rut sign right up in there, old rubs. Not a lot of new rubs because there was a lot of flooding in this area last year, really across all of Nebraska along the rivers, but a lot of flooding, so I don't really expect them to be putting down a lot of sign from last year because it was probably all underwater but we've got a lot of good trees we can climb in with our saddles allows us to see a whole bunch of this stuff back in here where they're putting down that rut sign a bunch of good trees here so just going to keep moving but a lot of good uh rut sign right back there we'll try to find the bedding right now Couldn't tell how big it was. I could just see antlers go through the thick stuff right back there. It was literally just right here. So I'm gonna go up, find the bed, but that's what we're looking for. If you get in here scouting, you just about get aggressive, get in here and find out where they're at. That was a buck. It means a buck bedding area. We're we'll gonna mark this on the map for sure. Go up here and find a bed. Got a bed right here. We move up this way. We got another bed, another bed right here. 
We've got beds right in there. There's beds all over in here. Just right here in this little area. And the good thing about it is we've got plenty of trees we can get in. All right over here. So we've got a tree we can climb up in right there. We've got trees here and here. All these trees we can climb up in. That's good. It's good when you bump a buck out. You know where they're at. You know where they're batting. You know where you can come back to. So, marking this on the map, we'll be back in here since we know this is a buck bed. I knew we were getting close. There's too much buck sign back there. Just kept following it back in here. Following that trail. When I found that trail, kind of on the outskirts there where I've seen all that sign, I followed it back in here. And that led me to where this buck was bedded. This is my kind of area right here. This is kind of what I've been looking for on all of these properties. Is a place that looks like this, where I'm at right now. We've got buck bedding right back there. A bunch of good trees we can set up on right there. Or if we want to transition to a little bit more of a transition line during the rut, we've got this right out here in front of me. You can see this transition line runs back over this way. A bunch of cottonwoods right here. Perfect size to get any tree stand or tree saddle you want to up in here. As long as we don't find any stands back in here, this could be a killer spot because people ain't getting back here. Got some buck bedding right there. This is the spot I've been looking for on all these properties, a spot just like this. This is a good spot back here. This is kind of what all of what we were seeing out there as we worked our way back in here was building towards. We were seeing sign, we were seeing more deer sign, just that there were deer here in general, then we were seeing buck sign and rut sign, then we found a bed, and then we found a nice transition area right here. And I throw this up on the screen so you can see it on a map and kind of see all the things that came together, the direction I worked and where we ended up finding a good spot to set up back here. But we've got a transition line right here that we're always looking for. Hardwoods to some marshy river bottom stuff. Found the buck beds back in there when we bumped that buck. And we found all that rut sign kind of on the outskirts of that area along the transition line as well. So we'll keep walking down this transition, keep finding some more good stuff, but this is a good spot back in here. Well, that stuff wasn't too much anything there after I found that one really good spot where I bumped that buck from. That's the only good spot I found back in there. All I did is walk through really thick stuff and get all of these whatever weed that is all over me. So that stuff back in there was no good at all. I've seen a couple of tree stands back in there. So we're just gonna try to, I just got out of that stuff. Try to get to some stuff that's back over here and then work our way back to the truck. But thus far it's only been that one good spot back there in that corner. So that stuff's too thick and just not very good. No deer sign in there, so got the heck out of there and gonna try to get somewhere where it ain't so thick. It's trail cam checking time. If you remember back a couple videos, we put some trail cameras out on some small properties, talked about kind of our trail cam strategies on small properties so going back in today uh, the season starts here in about three weeks so we're gonna try to sneak in these spots are really easy to get in check the cameras without disturbing anything because the properties are so small so we're just gonna go in check these cameras and see if there's any bucks on these small properties today still there so that's always good on public land so I'll climb up in the tree here take a look at it and see what's on there
Well, not a complete dud, I guess. That doe and fawn are on there a lot. I'm sure that's the fawn I bumped out when I came in and put the trail cam up. They're on here a lot. Bedding right back in the air, no doubt about that. And then there was a small 4x4, I think, on there. So this was kind of the one one spot that we didn't know for sure about. The other spot that I'm going to go to here next has a little bit more potential for deer to be there. You know, might be a good rut spot to be able to hang this truck camera during the rut and see if there's more movement during the rut. But as far as the spot that we're going to come to a lot um, early season or throughout the year, probably not. Probably if we're going to come back here, it's going to be after we hang the truck cam here and see what's, what's happening during the rut. So I guess on to the next spot. On to spot number two, I'm gonna check this camera, see what's not on it. This is probably the spot that has the most potential, I guess. We'll see what the location we have the truck camera in, if it was any good and if it got anything. But we'll head up here, check that truck camera. We're either gonna take it down, if there's nothing on there, and either bring it back and put it somewhere else during the season, or move it to a different spot on this property. So, not sure what I'll do. I'll look and see what images are on there first, and then we'll figure out what to do with it. Wasn't very much on that trail camera, just a couple of those is all, but I mean, we kind of knew that coming in is that it was going to be boom or bust. That's what it's like on these small properties. And it really wasn't, you know, the strategy wasn't to come in here and see all the big bucks that were in here. It was just to see if this small property was worth hunting. And I think we mentioned that when we were out here putting these trail cameras up. And these spots could be total duds. There could be nothing here. I'm not saying every small property is going to have a little patch of wood that's going to hold a big buck. This, this place is mostly CRP with a little patch here, but we just wanted to see if there's something here. They could be total duds and we might be right back to hunting our southern public land unit. Since none of those trail cameras really have too much on them, I think it's going to be more of a rut spot. Maybe you come back and put these trail cameras up over the rut and see if the rut's better for these small properties when you got more cruising, hunting pressure picks up in some of the other parts of this property and in the woods here. Maybe they'll get better, but for now it's not going to be an early season spot. Kind of writing these off. For now, I pulled both the trail cameras down. We're gonna go hang those. Uh, when we put a few stands up on the public here in a couple weeks, I'm just gonna let those cameras stand throughout the whole entire year. We'll pull them down at the end of the year and see what they show us. So thanks for watching guys. As always, hit the like button and subscribe.